What's up guys, today we're going to do an Android review video for Bitdefender Mobile Security. Before we open it and take a look at it, <clears throat> let's go ahead and take a look. This is for 2023, but let's take a look at uh, the reviews on it first. It's got 4.6 reviews. Um, that's not bad, 4.6 out of 5, that's not bad. <laughs> There's a guy here with one star. He refuses to track devices properly, so I have no idea if certain devices are unprotected, as it constantly says. I spent hours reinstalling and reinstarting. Uh, but Defender looks like they they uh, replied here. We apologize for this experience. We would need to speak with you better understand the problem. Then we got a 4 stars, 4 stars. Uh, let's see more reviews here. 4, 4, 3, 5, 5. One, this is a revision of my original review. I had Bitdefender running on my Galaxy for six months. Recently started to get advertising. Uh, huge drain on phone. We're going to be looking at all of this, guys. One another. I have a current subscription. Purchased. Uh, can't validate the account. Probably an ID10T right there, if you guys know what that means. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and open it. Apparently, it looks like it takes a lot of uh, memory, is what people are saying. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here we are. Uh, right off the bat, really hard to use for somebody that's new to this. Too much stuff on the screen, I could already tell you. Some people get overwhelmed with this. They need to make it look more like the PC version. This is the PC version right here. See how, uh, I guess, see these buttons here? They need to make it like the PC version, in my opinion. This crap. Uh, it's, it looks like a dang article or something. You know what I mean? So malware scanner. It says we need to start that. That's the issue that it says is device at risk. Uh, autopilot. Uh, it says it's always on pilot. We're going to put got it. Scam alert. Uh, we're going to try to activate all these. Got anti-theft. It's got the VPN. Um, you can install it there. But let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, we'll do a start scan permission needed so we're gonna have to give it permission so when you install this guys you're gonna have to give it a lot of permissions all right there it goes now it's scanning it is scanning and this might take a while actually i don't know how long it'll take but let's take while it does that let's go ahead and take a look at scam alert uh, we're gonna hit activate and see what it does scam alert is off monitors text notification and chat messages for dangerous links uh, let's see let's turn it on that's another notification. We gotta go to Bitdefender and allow notification access. This is kind of scary giving all these permissions to an app, isn't it? <laughs> We're gonna hit allow. <laughs> uh alert is on. Detects dangerous links you send or receive while you chat. Okay, alright. Uh all right, and it says here what to look out for. All right, so it looks like it protects you from scams. That's good. Let's go to back. Anti-theft. Let's go ahead and activate there. Another freaking um, permission here. Hit allow. Uh, uh, allow only while using this app. Let's do that. Allow. Allow. Turn on. Allow. All the time. It wants you to change it to all the time. Dang, seriously? Okay, there we go. We're in anti-theft. So snap photo on unfailed unlock. Snap a photo after three failed attempts to unlock your device. Huh. Ah, photo of the person doing it. That's crazy. Check that out. It'll <laughs> If somebody steals your phone and tries three times to get into it, it'll take a photo of them. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Got to give permission to the freaking camera, I bet. Allow all the time. Where? Crap. Mm, camera? Was it the camera that he needs access to? Hold on, let's try this again. Uh, allow all the... So it's telling me to put allow all the time, but I don't know where exactly. Permissions. Uh, camera. Files and media, location, allow all the time. We're just going to say allow all the time to everything. This is only temporary anyway, guys. Um, uh, 
hopefully that fixes it. The heck, there we go. Uh, activate device admin app. So you got to go ahead and set a pin there. Now I'm not going to do this because I don't want to get locked out, but I just want to show you guys the features on this thing. As you can see there, you do you put a pin on there and it'll snap photo if you fail to unlock three times. Uh, if you want to turn on your pin, it'll be right here. I'm pointing with the mouse. Uh, you could do remote commands. That's pretty cool. Remote locate. Wow. Alright guys, I am not going to use remote locate because I don't want you guys to know where I live. Because it, it literally points you straight to the map on there. So that's not going to happen. So it's got remote lock. Um, you can go ahead and do that. It's got remote wipe. Clear all data from your device and restore it to its factory state. You can do that remotely. So basically you just log in into another device I would imagine. And you could do it that way. I'm not sure how that works. You could you just set up a device, particular device against a wanted access by setting up a device lock method. This provides full anti theft capabilities in the unwanted event your device goes missing. So, man, it's got that. Trigger an alert on your device to, to detect its location. Oh, wow. Scream. Test sound. Oh, it'll start doing that. How many times have you guys lost your dang phone? And how convenient would that be? You just log into your. Uh, Bitdefender account. I think you do it on your PC. You log into your Bitdefender account on your PC. Or probably another uh, device, I would think. And then you hit that test sound and boom. That's pretty cool. So it's got a lot of stuff on here. I, I'm pretty impressed. Um, the scan that we did, it looks like it didn't find anything. It says I'm protected. We got 14 days trial left. Um, wow. That's a lot of stuff that we're looking at. Let's look at this tab down here. Your device is clean, it says. Now, we are checking your apps for malware, ransomware, PUA, adware, monitor, banker, coin miner, hidden. Now, I'm going to use my mouse so you guys know where I'm tapping. So, we're going to go here now. Uh, web protection is on. Protected browsers. Scam alert is on, which we set up earlier. And if you want to get to the rest of the uh, tools, you click here on the right. You could do a VPN, anti-theft, privacy, app lock, reports, and settings. Let's go to settings again. Inside the settings, you got uh, you got all these little goodies here. You could do extra privacy for banking pages, quick VPN access. Now we got to install the VPN for that, which we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Let's go ahead and activate. Uh, or install the VPN. That's a whole nother app within itself. So we're going to have to do another video on that one. But for now, let's stick with uh, just Bitdefender Mobile Security. And I think that's it, guys. Wanted to show you guys how that's uh, how that works on the Android. Not not bad, not bad. Now check it. Like I said, they need to clean it up a little bit. They need to put buttons like these. See on the desktop version, there's buttons. But here. Uh, the way it looks, it's it's pretty crazy. I, I think this is for more of an advanced type of person. So now, let's go ahead and rate it. Let's go back to our uh, Google Play. Now, where to go? Let's go back to it. Bitdefender. All right, let's go ahead and rate this. We're going to go ahead and rate it four stars. Because it's got everything in there. It's got to find your phone, scan your phone for viruses, Privacy protection, it's got it all in there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and rate this four, four out of five. I almost rated it three because it's, it's hard to use, guys. It's really hard to use. Um, oh, shoot, I might bring it down to three. Uh, we'll keep it at four. All right, we'll keep it at four. Um, let's go ahead and see how much it'll cost if you want to buy it. Hold on a second. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take a look how much it's going to cost. Buy now for only $15 a year. So it costs $15 a year. So if you guys liked what you saw there, um, you can go ahead and get it for $15 a year. Now, now things used to only be one-time purchase. And I keep saying this in all the review videos I'm making. Back in the day, at least 10 years ago, a long time ago, maybe even 5 years ago, 
anywhere from five to ten years ago, you only paid once for something. Now you got to pay fifteen dollars a year. This is crazy. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon in the next video. The next video will be Bit Defender VPN for Android. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.